Hi guys, and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the release preview channel, but for Windows 11 version 24H2, which is the build 26100.1297. And in this video, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and what is fixed in this build. And I can tell you that we have quite a few new interesting features and new additions inside this latest build for Windows 11 version 24H2. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with notifications bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all we have some features that are gradually rolling out so not everyone may see them right away the first one is related to the lock screen and basically Microsoft is introducing some new widgets in the lock screen related to sports traffic and finance content and you can personalize this by going into the settings app personalization and then lock screen related to the start menu Microsoft is gradually rolling out the new start menu account manager that includes more info and the ability to to manage your Microsoft account alongside with moving the sign out button up here. Also the ability to drag and drop pinned apps to the taskbar automatically pin them is gradually rolling out to Windows 11 24 h 2 I think that is also pretty nice. Related to the file explorer Microsoft is rolling out the ability to drag and drop files between locations inside the file explorer address bar that is also pretty nice. We're also getting the emoji 15.1 support that also includes some new emojis and I think that is pretty nice. Related to Windows share we have quite a few Few new features so for example we have this new close button that we need to click on if you want to close this window you can no longer click outside the window to dismiss it also you can now easily create QR codes for web page URLs and cloud files you can send an email to yourself if you have your email available inside the window share window and also you can copy files really easily by clicking on the copy button and of course you can directly share to a specific Microsoft Teams channel and group chats in the window share window as easy as that inside settings accounts and then windows backup you're going to notice that microsoft will start to back up many of your sound settings this includes your sound scheme this is also something pretty useful and this happens if you have selected to also remember my preferences and other windows settings related to the settings app in general you're going to start to notice the new game pass widget inside the home page of the settings app also you're going to be able to see the new linked devices page inside accounts you can find repair and manage devices that are signed in with your microsoft account Here you're also going to notice a new add now button that will allow you to add a recovery phone number or a recovery email address and for example there are some new dialogues that were redesigned if we are going to go to rename your pc and click on rename you're going to notice that this was redesigned to match the windows 11 design principles and also the dialogue for change date and time was updated as well also quite a lot of things for the task manager so inside the task manager microsoft is updating the ddr speed from megahertz per second to mt per second we're going to notice that if you go into the performance tab and then memory this is not yet rolled out for me but it was rolled out on other insider channels also this update addresses an issue that affects usb devices ejecting them using the safely remove hardware option fails this occurs when task manager is opened this update affects process handles task manager releases them more quickly when it stops a process also task manager should be more reliable in this update inside the processes section this update affects the sort order of process processes and it should have a better performance whenever you're sorting processes within a certain category. Also this update makes task manager more accessible by improving keyboard focus, tab key navigation, text scaling and more and also the resizing of the task manager window should now be easier from the top of the window. Also the new PC manager app is rolling out to devices in China but as I've said in a previous video you can easily install it on any version and also on any region. We're now talking about features that are normally rolling out so we have the new widgets icons in the task bar that are no longer pixelated or fuzzy and also we have a larger set of animated icons and there are also other fixes and small improvements that are normally rolling out but you can check all of those in the article below in the video description if you're interested so this is the latest update for windows 11 24 h2 on the release preview channel if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one always be from tech base until next time have a nice day